Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 14th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the input decorator and custom property binding. Alright then, so in the last few tutorials what we've been doing is passing data between the, uh, the component class and the component view and we've done that via property binding and event binding and two-way data binding as well. Now, in all cases, data has just been flowing within the same component. We've not been going from one component to the other, just from the class and the view in the same component. Well, that's cool, but what if we want to pass data from one component to the other? Say, for example, we want to pass data from this root component, the app.component, down into the home component. Well, we can do that using a custom property binding and the input decorator. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you that right now. So, first of all, let's open up the root component, which is this app.component, and this is the class right here. And what I'm going to do is define some data on this class that I'm going to pass through into the home component. I've already copied that to my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in. It's a simple object called Ninja with a name and a belt. So, let's save that dude right now, and then I want to head into the app.component HTML file, the view for the root component, and this tag right here, app home is where the home component is getting loaded in and it's dumping all this home component view stuff. Now we want to pass this data that we just made up on the root component class into the home component and we do that via the root component view here. So we know when we use property binding we can bind from the component class into the component view so that's what we're going to do but this time we're going to bind it to a custom property not a ready-made HTML one okay. So let's do that. Let's make up a property and we'll call it Ninja. And to use property binding, we're going to use these square brackets like that. And we're going to set it equal to a value. And that value is going to be this thing that we just made up on the root component class. So let's copy it and paste it in right here. And then we're going to save it. So now what we're doing is saying whenever we get this app home tag and you load in the home component, I want you to also bind some data to this tag using a custom property, Ninja, and we're going to bind that Ninja object that we made on the root component class right there. Okay, so we're passing this in now to the home component, but that's not enough for us to use it in the home component just yet. First of all, we need to use the input decorator. So when a component is taking in data from another component, we need to use the input decorator to say to that component, look, we're happily going to take data from another component. We're going to have it input to us, okay? We need to do that. So the way we do that is by going to the component which is receiving the data. In this case, it's going to be the home component. And we go into the class right here, and we use the input decorator by doing at, then capital I, input, like so. And then the name of the object we want to expect. And it's just going to be the ninjas, or rather the ninja, okay? So we're expecting to take in a variable and it's going to be the ninja. So now we can use that ninja within this class. But before we do that, we need to import input as kind of like a dependency almost. So we'll say input up here. And that's the only way it can use this input decorator down here. OK, otherwise it won't work. So now let's save this and let's go to the home component view. And what we want to do is output that ninja in here. But before I do that, I've just noticed an error, and I think it's because I've not added on the parenthesis right here. Yeah, we need parenthesis on that for it to work. And if I save now, then hopefully this error is going to go within a second. Anyway, after you've done that, head over to the home component view, and now we want to output this Ninja data. You can see, by the way, the error's gone now. So let's just clean this up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, and I'll get rid of this stuff as well. And let's output that Ninja. So we'll do this in a P tag. And what we'll do is use string interpolation. So we'll say ninja dot name. Okay, and that's right, you remember. So if I save that now and view this in a browser, refresh it. Now we see a Ryu output right here. And we can do the same with the belt. If I copy this dude and paste it down below and change this to belt, ninja dot belt, we should see red over here. Cool, there it is, red. Awesome. So now we have passed data from the root component where we initialize that data on the class 
and we passed it down into the home component and then we could use it in the home component. So just to quickly go over the steps we took to do that again. First of all, we initialized our data on the root component right here, dead simple. Then in the root component view, we used a custom property binding to pass that data through into the app home component, okay? Then in the home component, we used app input like this to say we're expecting a variable input into this component and that's called ninja and we required it there up in the import statement input then in the home component view we just output it as normal using string interpolation pretty awesome so that's how we pass data from one component to another and how we use the input decorator in the next tutorial i'm going to show you the opposite dire uh, direction using custom event binding so we can pass data from the home component back up into the root component. Any questions so far? Leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next one.